Hello and welcome to my channel Desified Ume. So today I am making a video on a very very important topic for all of those who are coming to UK uh, with their families or alone and that is uh, the living cost in uh, Scotland in Glasgow. I am uh, giving you a, a latest and up to date view of um, uh, your uh, monthly expenses roughly uh, um, based on my own experience. So we are a family of three me and my husband and we have a two-year-old daughter as well uh, so my expenses will be uh, more relevant for all of those who are coming here couples or with their uh, kids uh, so you can uh, relate more to that but uh, the students who are coming alone their expenses will be much less because you can uh, minus certain things from your monthly expenses uh, which uh, you um, uh, you know spend as a family uh, so let's get started without further ado and i will give you a, a glimpse of what are the different kinds of expenses that you will spend on when you come here to uk uh, on a monthly basis so let's get started before starting this video i would like to make a disclaimer that this video and all the expenses that i am sharing with you in this video are solely based on my own personal experience uh, i stay with my family in glasgow's south side uh, so my all of the exp uh, expenditures are based on uh, you know from that perspective it uh, highly depends on which part of the city you are staying in how much you like to spend um, and uh, different factors like some of the things I might not do on a monthly basis that you would like to do uh, so you, you know th in that way it can vary currently the inflation rate has uh, largely affected the expenses uh, in UK as well so prices of everything have recently been increased uh, in like two to three months uh, so yeah that that really you know change the, um, the amount of expenses that you spend spend monthly but uh, keep that in mind before watching this video and i hope that this will give you a little bit of guidance and help uh, uh, when planning your budget or planning your expenses when you are coming to uk so the first and the basic category of your expense the large larger chunk of your income is going to be spent on your rent uh, so rent uh, again highly depends on which area you are staying like i am staying in the south side maybe you find something more um, you know suitable for yourself in west end or in east end or any other part of the city if you haven't watched my video on housing yet um, uh, this will really help you i will give a link up here you can go and check that out uh, that will explain all of the you know different parts of the city and the uh, house housing arrangements there and also it will explain the rents as well so currently i am paying 500 pounds per month uh, for a one bedroom apartment mm, it's a ground floor apartment and uh, a pretty spacious one uh, than the one i had before also the area is very nice it is quiet uh, the community is very nice students who are coming here like uh, single uh, boys or girls they can also live on sharing uh, that uh, you know reduces the cost of housing a lot because you can stay like uh, you know you know you can share a room for like maybe 200 250 pounds per month uh, with another person and then you can divide your other expenses as well so that's a lot more economical uh, even families uh, do sometimes uh, live on sharing uh, like you can get um, a, a double bedroom uh, in some property for like let's say 300 or 400 pounds per month uh, but uh, but i personally don't uh, find that uh, very much you know comfortable to stay in a sharing i never stayed in a shared apartment but there are options available the rent depends uh, on the uh, locality and on the um, size of the accommodation the next big category of your expense is your utility bills so we have cards uh, inserted in our electricity and gas um, uh, meters and we just top them up according to our own uh, you know requirement and need uh, so we top our electricity um, card for like for 10 pounds uh, per week uh, and we top our gas card uh, for like 30 pounds or 40 pounds per week recently the price of gas and um, uh, electricity has increased a lot uh, previously i was just um, topping up like five pounds in my electricity one and 25 pounds in my gas one but now i have to increase that because uh, the rates have uh, changed uh, very recently uh, so in total i'm spending around 
you know um, anything between 140 to 180 pounds per month on my gas and my electricity uh, you can divide it like that i uh, we consume like uh, 40 pounds in our electricity um, meter and 140 pounds in our gas meter minimum which makes it 180 the water bill is not included in that hydro um, that comes from the council and for all the uh, you know the full time uh, international and local students uh, the council gives you exemptions and discounts uh, so that that is a separate um, a separate entity you have to contact the uh, glasgow city council for that uh, and uh, i have also explained that process in my another video already so if you haven't checked that out i will give a link up here and you can go and check that out as well another thing which i like to include uh, along with the utilities is your uh, broadband connection so you know if you take a wi-fi at home uh, there are different kind of broadband service providers like talk talk ee uh, virgin media we have a connection from talk talk uh, and uh, we pay uh, 23 uh, pounds per month uh, for our broadband connection the next big chunk of your um, expenditures will be on groceries we as a family of three spend uh, 200 to 250 pounds per month on our groceries which includes um, you know basic um, eating stuff, uh, cleaning stuff, laundry, uh, home cleaning, um, uh, baby stuff, all of that is included in that. Previously, I used to do a grocery every week. Uh, like I set my budget for every week, like 30 to 40 pounds, and I do in that. But uh, now it's just not uh, feasible for me to do that with my baby. So yeah, I have just changed uh, my pattern of doing groceries a little bit. And I think that fits for my needs uh, perfectly. It uh, highly depends on what you like to eat and what you eat. Uh, so yeah, mm, uh, depending on that, uh, your uh, budget for groceries can go up or down. Uh, for I think a single person uh, like a single student coming here uh, the budget of groceries will be anywhere around 80 to 100 pounds per month and that's i think perfectly fine because uh, when when you are alone you don't cook that much at home next comes the mobile tariff uh, we have pay as you go uh, sim tariffs uh, which means that uh, we have to you know top them top our sim up every month and then we can uh, buy a bundle uh, so me and my husband we both use a leica mobile network that is very good in our area its service is very nice we uh, spend uh, 20 pounds uh, on our um, monthly tariffs like 10 pounds each uh, so in 10 pounds we get unlimited calls unlimited texts and also 30 gb of the mobile internet data the next uh, important one is transportation so the amount uh, we spend on our transport uh, so my husband he doesn't usually uh, use a bus or train because his um, workplace is uh, nearby and he just walks there uh, so that saves us a lot of money because he is not spending um, on her uh, on his transportation like on a daily basis uh, Mirha is also free Mirha goes with me but she is free uh, so I spend a lot on my transportation because I have to go to my university uh, and I take bus because bus is now more convenient for me uh, so i i buy you know monthly passes uh, there is a, a thing which you can call day passes which gives me 15 individual tickets which i can use any day i just have to go on my mobile app activate my bus ticket and then i can use it um for that whole day uh, and uh, that costs me around 43 pounds per month uh, so in that 43 pounds i purchased 15 bus tickets uh, for 28 day period in 28 days i can spend those 15 tickets on any day uh, i have already told uh, the use of that app in my previous video of the uh, uh, useful apps that you must have if you haven't watched that video i will give a link up here and you can see uh, in that i have explained uh, the bus uh, passes and all of that so you can have a look there so the my next big expense is on child care services so these uh, this expense is not for those who are coming alone or who are just a couple because you can save a lot uh, if you don't have children uh, like i my i don't have any um family here uh, near me so i have to take my child with me to my university's nursery she goes there two times a week um uh, it uh, it depends the rate depends on how much time your child is spending in the daycare so my my baby she goes for like two days and uh, it's just like one session per day uh, so a full nursery day is from nine in the morning till six in the evening uh, which costs around 44 uh, 
pounds per day uh, also um, uh, if you are not uh, leaving your child for a full day you can book a session there are two sessions per day uh, one is uh, from 8 to 1 in the morning and then uh, the next one is from 1 to 6 in the evening so my baby she takes like uh, two afternoon sessions uh, per week and for that I pay 22 pounds per session per week uh, so that's that costs me around 44 pounds per week um, and the total of uh, her nursery expenses ranges between 200 to 225 pounds per month which means that uh, you know uh, if uh, there is a four week um, month then I pay around 200 uh, pounds uh, for her nursery expenses but if uh, a month has like five weeks or four weeks and a day then I have to pay according to that. Uh, so it, it uh, varies per month, but it ranges between 200 to 225 per month, which is a huge amount um, uh, that goes towards the child care. So if you have family here, you are lucky you can leave your children with them. But if you don't have that, you have to bear this expense and leave your child in the daycare because uh, it's very difficult to manage um, in any other way. So yeah, that, this is a big expense that you have to uh, take care of and look forward to uh, and plan uh, very well uh, to, you know, reduce the cost uh, of your child care. Next, I have our uh, mobile phone installments. Uh, so that is up to you. If you don't have to buy um, anything uh, like that, you can, you know, skip this thing. Uh, but uh, there is a good uh, opportunity here to purchase uh, you know house stuff or mobile phones and everything on installments and then you can pay every month so me and my husband we both pay for our mobile phones and uh, that uh, cost us 35 uh, pounds per month uh, you know each uh, so in total we spend 70 pounds per month on our mobile phone installments uh, and also um, the next thing is you know if you want to eat out or you want to go you know it's just like uh, fun activities you want to dine out out or you want to do some shopping I just uh, like save 100 pounds in that expense and it usually uh, we don't spend that much every month sometimes we do sometimes we don't uh, so yeah it's good to have something and it uh, like highly depends on uh, what your remaining saving is and from that you can um, keep as much as you like uh, to spend on your uh, well-being kind of activities and your layer stuff these are the pretty much all the expenses that i spend in a month and uh, that this brings my total to uh, 1415 pounds per month uh, that is my total expense as a family of three living in the south side of glasgow uh, so um, there are certain things which i can share with you certain tips through which you can save uh, some money and also um, I want to acknowledge that uh, there are a lot of expenses that I don't do like I don't have any kind of subscriptions I don't have TV license um, uh, for everything you have to pay here so if you purchase a TV you have to buy a TV license uh, if you want to watch Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything you have to buy their subscriptions uh, so all of that costs you a lot and I don't have any of that so it highly depends on what you prefer or not also um there are certain things in my in our diet that we don't consume uh, and some of you might uh, so yeah that also is an added expense and you have to keep that in mind uh, because um, it, it just depends on what are your dietary requirements are and what you want to or prefer to eat um so yeah a lot of things it can change a lot of things vary every every person is different i understand and that makes your expenses to differ slightly uh, or largely uh, based on your own personal experience so now i will share with you some tips in which you can save a little bit from your monthly expenses number one tip is if you are coming your with your family or if your uh, you know your partner is coming with you prefer to cook and eat at home that will save you a lot of money so when you are buying groceries uh, and you are cooking at home your meals and planning accordingly and organizing your meals you will save a lot of money because you are not eating out every day uh, uh, which you will otherwise if you don't cook at home and that will cost you a lot because a simple kfc uh, burger or mcdonald's will uh, 
cost you around six seven pounds for a meal uh, so that is a lot to spend on a daily basis so keeping that in mind try to cook at home as much as you can even if you are coming alone as a student uh, try to learn some basic dishes before coming here uh, so that you can survive because you can't eat every day out even if you want to it's just you will feel tired or bored or you, your health will suffer so try to learn some basic cooking dishes before coming here and then uh, prefer to eat at home as much as you can my next tip is when you are doing your groceries sometimes buying a larger quantity will save you a lot of money so let's say if you are buying a washing powder packaging uh, so a small one will cost you around let's say five pounds uh, and a bigger one will cost you around seven pounds so just in just two pound you will have a lot more product uh, which you can use for a longer period of time you don't have to purchase like every month uh, so always check for the larger quantity one packaging price because sometimes and mostly um, like most of the times it's just the case that the smaller packaging is uh, expensive as compared to the price of the larger packaging so always buy the larger one if you can uh, that that will save you in a longer term because you don't have to buy uh, that product very frequently again third tip is that if you are purchasing something big for example mobiles or tv or you know home stuff just your cooking items your uh, kitchen appliances or your home furniture or anything you can always ask the retailer that do you offer credit do you offer um, the customers so that they can pay in installments and most of the retailers do have that opportunity for yourself uh, initially that might not be applicable to you because you have to have a certain amount of time living in uk uh, uh, on on your address after which you can be eligible but some shops still provide you uh, with easy installments even if you don't have that much of your uh, you know background um, uh, check so yeah you can always ask and try it's just it's, it's never you know it never harms to try and ask so these are all the expenses and my few tips to reduce your expenses uh, lastly i just want to uh, give you a glimpse of monthly income that how much we earn monthly and uh, what are our savings uh, so roughly if just one person is earning the minimum wage rate in glasgow is recently updated and it's nine pounds and 90 pence per hour which means uh, that you're um, if you are working full time your after tax like take home salary will be around 1250 pounds per month uh, that is after your tax deduction and um, everything uh, so if you and your spouse both are working like one is working full time and one is working part time which is 20 hours per week uh, so your accumulative take home salary would be around 1950 pounds per month which is uh, roughly 2000 pounds uh, and if you are spending this much that i have told you that is around 1400 pounds per month so the rest is your saving that you can spend on yourself you can save uh, you can do whatever you like so this is to just give you a rough idea that how much you can earn in a month uh, and uh, how much you're going to spend uh, so yeah i hope this video uh, has helped you a lot in understanding what's your life going to be when you come here and how much you're going to spend uh, so if you have liked today's video then subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and i will keep making relevant content for you guys in the future as well so till then take care i'll see you guys bye bye